How you doing today? My name is Abdi Abdi. Don't forget that name now. You know, just because I just say Abdi told me not to forget his name if anybody asks. But uh, I'd love to talk to you about a little story about persistency. You know, when I was younger, uh, I wanted rollerblades. You know, I seen all my friends in rollerblades just gliding down the street like, and I'm like, it looked like the coolest thing ever. You know, I never knew how to roll, 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 play nothing, but I want to be, I want to be a part of what they were doing, you know what I'm saying? It looked like they were having fun, they were just like legit gliding down the street. And I was like, hey, I'm tired of walking, and I want to glide too. Um, so I went to my mom, like, mom, I grabbed the picture of the roller blades, mom, I want this. And she's like, no. I was like, mom, I need this in my life. She's like, no. I was like, mom, please. She's like, no. But legit, a week, a week of just me nagging, crying, and trying to get my way. I finally, finally got what I wanted. You know, I, I got those rollerblades, and I was happy. I was so happy. And I could not wait to get home and put them on my feet and just glide away. So, I got home. You know, I put those bad boys on, you know what I'm saying? I just couldn't wait. I'm like, oh my God, it's, 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 it's about, it's, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna glide. So, all of a sudden when I put them on, I go to go. And my, like, my legit, my feet start wiggling. Because I never, I never know how to roll, but my feet starts wiggling. And I'm like, what the, I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, yeah, I thought this should be easy. And all of a sudden, the ground just, I felt like the ground slipped from under me. I went up into the air, like, and then, boom, just fell on my back. Like, whoa, I was like, oh, I was in pain. Was I in pain? And I was very, like, I was, I was in pain. So all of a sudden, I, like, and then I took them off, and I was like, you know what, <laughs> that hurt, that really hurt. I took them off, and guess what I did, I took them off, I threw them in my closet, I never looked at them again, never looked at them again, because you know why, because uh, I still feel the pain, every single time I think about rollerblades, I see somebody with rollerblades, I feel pain, you know, <laughs> and I know how much I hurt myself, you know, but, but the thing is, the only reason I'm telling you this is because when you were younger, you really wanted something, you know, and you went out of your way to get what you wanted. You know, you didn't care what, you, you didn't know what no was. You, we did not know what no was. We just wanted it, you know. And we kept hearing this no, and then we kept, like, saying, is that a yes? <laughs> but eventually it turned into a yes, you know. But nowadays, we heard no so many times. And, like, you know, when you get, when you get older, it's impossible. No, this is that. that it, like, it became the norm. So when you want to like get when you want to go do something, you know what I'm saying? You want to go you want to go build a, like a restaurant or you want to go do you know, you want to go do something that everybody else is not doing. People will come up to you and you tell somebody, "Hey, I'm thinking about doing this." It doesn't matter what it is, I'm thinking about doing this. People will tell you, "No, it's a bad idea. Don't do it." But but what happened? You know, we're, we're taking advice from the wrong people. That's what happened, you know. We need to circle ourselves around with the right people that can help us get to where we want to be, you know. Because if, if we sit there with everybody else, then we're going we're gonna to make the same, we're going to make the same progress as everybody else. And you don't want to do that. You want to leave that and, like, actually start building something and doing something for your future. Like, doing something that you can leave your kid behind. Like, I was just, I was, to tell you the truth, me, I was sick and tired, and sick and tired, with like, like with with money coming in like a turtle, and leaving like a rabbit. The reason why is that every paycheck, you know, that that I got every week, it was just it it, it already had it already had a list of things I had to pay, so I didn't like there was really nothing to be excited over, you know, because I already had like I didn't know where they were going. It was coming like a turtle. And leaving like a rabbit, you know. And I was thinking, I'm like, yo, I need to find out a way that money can come in like a rabbit and leave like a turtle, you know. That money comes in, but I'm getting so much that, you know, I don't know where to, like, you know, I don't know how to, like, where to spend it. Like, it's coming in so much that I don't know where, like, literally, I don't know where to spend it on, what to spend it on. That's what I wanted to do. And that's the reason why, you know, why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. But if you want to get to see what I'm doing, you know, my link is below, and guess what? Hopefully me and you can trade ideas and everything else, but guess what? I'll be the first one to tell you. Don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do something, because you can do it. And guess what? I believe in you. So, have a nice day, alright? Take care now.